Welcome to Freedom From Fire. And as Fire Commissioner Ayers always says, don't touch that dial. While this may not look like your normal format, uh, today we're flipping the script on the Fire Commissioner and we're going to conduct an interview of Fire Commissioner Lloyd Ayers. My name is Ernest Hargett. I'm the retired Deputy Fire Commissioner of Operations. And I happen to be fortunate enough to work uh, as a Deputy Commissioner under Fire Commissioner Ayers for nine and a half years. Um, so today, instead of him bringing me in his office and asking me questions, I get to sit in his chair in the Freedom From Fire program and ask him some questions. And I'm sure that some of these questions will be uh, things that maybe many of you may have wanted to ask the Fire Commissioner yourselves, but didn't get that opportunity. So with this, I'd like to say welcome, Fire Commissioner Ayers. Um, this is your last Freedom From Fire program. And uh, we believe that it's a, tr a fitting tribute to take this opportunity to have an opportunity to interview you. So now that I've done that introduction, I'd like to start off with my very first question. And uh, while this is not a test, we do look for some real answers. Okay, the first question is, how many smoke alarms have been installed in the city of Philadelphia since you've been car one? I can answer that because I just <laughs> recently got information on that. Uh, 127,000 smoke alarms. 127,000 smoke alarms. So we know that that translates into a lot of saved lives. And also probably also translates into a lot of fires prevented, which is the whole uh, thrust behind Freedom From Fire. Isn't that correct? That is correct. We uh, look at smoke alarms as uh, an entry into the door and uh, opportunity to have a conversation with the family that, that lives there so that they can become safer. Okay. So my second question was going to be to ask you what has been your greatest accomplishment since uh, being the fire commissioner for these past 10 years, uh, which will be 10 years when you, when you retire. And while you've already told us about this hundred and some odd thousand smoke alarms that have been installed, we're going to ask you to see if you could find uh, another accomplishment that's happened uh, on, in your tenure that you feel uh, very proud of? Well, I would say one of the things that I feel really proud of is uh, having the opportunity uh, to look at and assemble a team uh, that took everything that we did in every aspect of uh, our service to the community seriously and uh, that they did it at a high level. So I think that uh, pulling together uh, people who thought well, who uh, was a good team member, all of those folks, yeah, I think they did a good job. So I think that's my best accomplishment because all of that meant service to the people. Okay. Um, my next question was going to be to ask you if you still have your iPhone. Yes, yes. I still have my iPhone. And so that means you still have your app. I certainly have my app. Can you tell us a little bit about that app? Well, uh, that was another nice accomplishment. Uh, that fire safety app is an app we developed in uh, conjunction with uh, Fire Prevention Division and Drexel University. Uh, Drexel came over with some, uh, some students that were interested in putting together that app. And uh, they led a great team. They came through, uh, questioned every aspect of uh, our fire department service delivery, uh, and they put together an app that people could download on their uh, mobile phones, on their computers, uh, any smartphone, uh, including Blackberry, uh, iPhone, Apple uh, format, uh, Android format, and get just great information on how to be safe. And that's it in a nutshell. So I, can, I guess I can assume that another one of your accomplishments is uh, finding a way to work with uh, many of our college students as you do here uh, with the Freedom From Fire program with the students at LaSalle. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, yes, it's just been great partnerships, uh, especially with uh, LaSalle. Um, they have taken all of the information that we put out to our communities and put it in a format uh, that could be played uh, to the colleges, uh, that can be played back. Uh, on our channels, Channel 64, we use it there, and uh, also uh, for community outreach. So we've used all of this uh, filming over a long period of time. We even feed it back into the fire department over our other uh, channels. 
So uh, it, it's just a great opportunity. And working with Drexel, uh, it was always good. So the students have been a very good part uh, and important part of uh, what we've done with outreach and trying to communicate and collaborate with the community. So I, I did have another question for you that was uh, on a serious note. Uh, one of the things I've noticed as I've been riding around the city over these past few years, I see your face on quite a few billboards out there. So I'm wondering, uh, after you retire, will I continue to see you on these billboards? Uh, no, there's <laughs> going to be a new page, a uh, new commissioner, uh, a new chance at branding. So I think that uh, what that does is it allows the next commissioner to be more creative. As a matter of fact, it uh, compels them to be more creative and uh, to make sure that we brand the department, uh, continue to do uh, high level service. So uh, those billboards, uh, they're only thoughts and keepsakes for some of the small ones that we have. So uh, it's just a great opportunity to work with good people uh, like Clear Channel uh, who made sure that we got those, that information out. Also the Cal and Lucille Rudman Foundation who uh, did a great job with funding us, making sure that more people had an opportunity to be safe in the environment. Okay, so as I'm getting ready, this is my final question, and I think maybe you can wrap this up maybe in one sentence because uh, of all we've just heard you uh, say as things that have, have occurred under your leadership. Do you have any last one word of advice or one sentence of advice for the next uh, fire commissioner? Um, I would say engage the community have a lot of fun doing it, and make sure that we keep people first. Okay, and uh, I guess that pushing that freedom from fire uh, theme throughout the city is gonna be a major goal and something that will live on long after you've been retired as the uh, Philadelphia Fire Commissioner. So we're gonna take a break, but we'll be right back with more Freedom From Fire. <laughs> is my passion. Every day, I live for the outdoors and all of its challenges. That's why I enlisted in the Coast Guard. Now, I serve to protect the environment and defend my country. It's like I was born for this. Were you born ready for a greater challenge? Find out at GoCoastGuard.com. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Nicole Malakowski, a U.S. Air Force Fighter Squadron Commander and the first woman pilot with the United States Air Force Aerial Demonstration Team. My fellow airmen and I know that each of us plays a huge part in our victories, whether in the air or on the ground. We couldn't accomplish our mission without using everyone's skills to reach our goals. Embracing our differences and working together is also what has made America strong. Thank you for your support, and remember, our strength lies in our diversity. This message brought to you by the United States Air Force. Welcome back to Freedom From Fire. As part of a Fire Commissioner Air's last uh, show, uh, we're bringing in some special guests who uh, also want to pay tribute to him and have a final opportunity to share some uh, words of wisdom and some heartfelt thoughts with him. Our first guest is uh, Deputy Fire Commissioner of Administrative Services, David Beatrice. Dave, welcome to the show. Thank you, Ernie. Well, Chief, it's been a hell of a ride. Thank you for bringing me along with you. and. I'm going to miss you. Yeah. There's a couple of things people just don't know. We've been together many years, and never once in those years have I ever heard you say anything negative about any other person, no matter how tense. Whereas me, I would always get upset and say, they can't say that. And you would just calm me down and say, it'll work out. Just They're frustrated. They'll understand. Just do your best, and it'll all work out. And you were right. I appreciate that lesson. It really stuck with me all these years. Uh, it's always been easy to work with you, Dave, and uh, you've seen the big picture, the needs, and uh, have supported us as much as you possibly could, and uh, it's made a difference for us, so I appreciate it. And it's been fun. Uh, it's, it's been, been fun. fun, no so. doubt, no doubt. A lot so of fun. Dave, I was going to ask if uh, you're going to miss uh, those trips uh, with the fire commissioner over to city council for budget hearings? Oh, yes, they're our friends. <laughs> we enjoyed it. 
you know, they have a job to do, we have a job to do, mm -hmm. and everyone was professional and treated us nice. Nicely, okay. Um, how many years have you worked with, uh, with Lloyd, with the fire commissioner, that you can recall? Probably a, a dozen, a dozen, yeah. close. A dozen years. Yeah, a dozen years. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, I want to say thank you for coming on the show and for paying this tribute to, uh, to Fire Commissioner Lloyd Ayers on his final segment of Freedom From Fire. And uh, I would like to introduce our next guest. The next guest coming on to Freedom From Fire is Derek J.V. Sawyer. He's the Deputy Fire Commissioner of Operations. Uh, yes, welcome sir. to Freedom From Fire, thank, thank Chief you. Sawyer. How you doing? I'm great. Uh, would you have like to have a few minutes to have a, a discussion with the uh, fire commission? Absolutely. It's been nice working with you. You've done a lot of projects and programs. I still remember the first day I walked into your office and said, Commissioner, we have to talk about community risk reduction. And you're like, really? Um, not only that, the fire safety app, the trips to a Congressional Fire Service Institute, yeah. teaching together, you know, I appreciate your tutelage. I appreciate the fact that you gave me an opportunity to do a lot of things. So don't think you're getting away though. Keep your phone on speed dial because I'll be giving you a call. All right, well, I'll tell you, all of it was great. You know, just the, the, the many uh, things that you've had opportunity to do, uh, traveling around, uh, going to different countries, bringing back uh, concepts on fire prevention, uh, community risk reduction. Uh, so it was easy to do. It was really easy to do. Uh, you really opened up our eyes about a lot of things. I appreciate the fact that uh, you took it upon yourself to do that. You understood uh, who we serve and how important it is that we get service to, to our citizens because uh, you believed in freedom from fire. Absolutely. So, so it's a good thing. We started that together, actually. Yeah, it was a really, really positive right. piece. Positive. Yeah. Well, as we can see, freedom from fire has become embedded in the uh, Philadelphia Fire Department in the city of Philadelphia. And we are certain that it's embedded here at uh, LaSalle University, who's always hosting us with our uh, Freedom From Fire program. So I want to thank you, uh, Derek, for coming on to the program. And I'd like to introduce thank our you. next guest at this time. Our next guest is Deputy Fire Commissioner of Technical Services, Henry Costa. Henry, yes, welcome sir. to uh, Freedom From Fire. Thanks, Chief. It's good to see you again. It's good to see you. And please take this opportunity to uh, uh, share with the fire commissioner. Commissioner, I just wanted to thank you for the uh, discretion, the latitude, the support you've given me uh, in the last 10 years. I remember walking into your office uh, with my ro most recent promotion and saying we've come a long way. And we've heard a, a lot of guests speak to uh, how appreciative they are for the opportunities to work with you during those last 10 years. But you won't hear from anybody else from me that uh, I've had the opportunity to work with you for virtually that entire 40-year career, and uh, particularly to enjoy those, those years that we had at Engine 2 on the yes. back step. And I don't think there's anybody else in the department that could still say that. Yeah. Uh, You're right. I would ask you a question, since we're turning the tables and doing some interviewing here. Did you, in those days, think that we would be sitting here tonight talking about 40-year careers and, and just all of the things that we've been able to accomplish over those years. Well, uh, sitting here being the uh, fire commissioner and looking at you being the <laughs> deputy fire commissioner, uh, no, I thought we was just going to drag holes and put <laughs> fires out for a long time, but uh, it, it evolved and uh, turned into a, a great, not only relationship, uh, you've worked in for safety, for safety of the members for a long time brought great products to us, made sure that we uh, was on top of all of the information uh, in the industry, uh, and, and you were another person that went across the country, made sure that we got that back. Uh, and right now, whether it's the PP, uh, PBE, uh, all of those things that uh, our members use to go out there and support and protect our people, when that emergency happens, uh, you've done a great job. So uh, I appreciate I'm proud it. of you I as well. I couldn't have done it yes, without indeed. you giving me the opportunity that you gave me. I appreciate it. You yeah. will be missed. Yeah. Well, well I man. want to thank you, Henry, for coming on uh, Freedom From Fire and sharing those uh, heartfelt thoughts with the uh, fire commissioner. At this time, I'd like to introduce our next guest. Our next guest is Lieutenant Diane Mercer. 
from the Fire Prevention Division. Welcome to the show, Lieutenant Mercer. Hi, Chief. How are you? <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Well, you get an opportunity to interview or share with this uh, fire commissioner something that you may not have been able to do, because I know you've been in fire prevention through several uh, fire commissioners. Yes, that's true. But the commissioner and I go way back. Actually, we, uh, our paths crossed long before the fire department. Uh, we're both alumni of Dobbins, and the commissioner mm -hmm. was on the student council of the class of 68. I didn't really know him at that time, but I do remember seeing him. But for me, the most vivid moment I had uh, with the commissioner was when I walked in the engine 41, and you were the ladder lieutenant, and it was just so great to yeah. walk into that firehouse to see a familiar face. So we've, we've gone through a lot of things. We've crawled down some halls. The commissioner can tell you more stories about what we've done in the firehouse than I can recall, <laughs> but it's been a pleasure working with him and uh, going and seeing you uh, progress to the highest mm -hmm. rank in the city of Philadelphia Fire Department. And I'm very proud of him and pleased to have worked with him. Oh, I tell you, it's just been a great time. And, and I remember, I looked, I said, I know that face, you know, and uh, long before you got there, we were uh, sitting there ready, ready to receive you. And uh, what you did was uh, do a good job for us. And I can remember many of those uh, crawls down that long hallway, and you've always done a great job in every job you've been asked to do in the fire department. I'm proud of you and uh, proud to know you. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, Lieutenant Mercer, I was going to ask you if uh, I remember that you worked at Engine 41. Yes. I believe, and I believe that the fire commissioner was at Ladder 24. Was that at the same time? Yes, mm -hmm. I came on a job in 1985, and uh -huh. he was Ladder Lieutenant. So in all those times and working in the firehouse, did he ever holler at the fires or anything like that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't recall him hollering at the fires, but one of his trademarks was walking around the firehouse all day with those boots on. <laughs> he would have those boots rolled down below his knees, and he was at the ready uh -huh. whenever the bells rang. So let me ask you, going back to those days in the firehouse, do you ever remember hearing him say, fire's under control? I think that's his trademark Marks. phrase. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure that he's been saying that for quite a few years. Quite a uh, few. Throughout his, throughout his career. Um, that firehouse there at 61st and Haverford? Ha uh, no, sir. 61st, it's, it's 61st and Thompson. And Thompson. Thompson yes. It hasn't changed much over the years. Have you been back there? No, I don't really go back to visit Engine 41. A lot of my time now is actually spent in Cedar City doing high rises. And I was going to ask the fire commissioner if he's been back there. I went back for a, a shoot that we did, a safety shoot uh, for a commercial. So it, it, it worked out fine going back and uh, reminiscing. Uh, so I, every once in a while I get back there. Okay. Still a good crew. So asking the both of you being um, uh, Dobbins graduates uh, and going back and remember when you were in school, I don't imagine that either of you thought that you would be here at the fire commissioner's uh, 40th year of service, and Lieutenant Mercer's, uh, I'm not sure how many years of service, but sitting here on the Freedom From Fire show, um, reminiscing uh, when y'all first met and how long you have been um, on career, path, career paths aligned together. Well, actually for me, um, this was a job that I never thought I'd have. Uh, it'll be 29 years in uh -huh. July. And uh, just being here and being a part of it and being a part of his history uh, and what he's done for the Philadelphia Fire Department has been a true pleasure. Okay. Lieutenant Mercer, I'd like to thank you for coming on Freedom From Fire. And at this time, I'm gonna take this opportunity to introduce our next guest. And our next guest is Miss Tanya Ellis. She's the LaSalle State TV Station Manager. And welcome to Freedom From Fire, Tanya. <laughs> I've been here all the time. Um, <laughs> if you think you are uncomfortable right now, you should see how I feel right now because this is not my home. I'm behind there, uh, behind the scenes, usually you know, telling you um, time cues and things like this. So uh, this is even more of a stretch for me than it is for you being in that seat. Um, but we've really enjoyed having you here on LaSalle TV. Uh, it, you started out as a guest, I believe, yes. on Philly Factor, yes. one of our programs. Yes, I did. Um, and what happens sometimes is that you start out as a guest and then you end up getting your own show. 
Uh, so this is the third season, I believe, yes. of Freedom From Fire. Uh, I don't know if you could hear the students in the last show, but they all had their right hand raised and they were doing the pledge with you. Uh, so we've had a lot of fun. Um, you've been really great, not only for the community in teaching people fire safety information and fire prevention, uh, but also working with us here at LaSalle. Um, we've really enjoyed our time with you. You've been really great with our students. Uh, I know they've had a blast and they've learned a lot. Uh, so I just want to thank you. And I've already made the offer. Uh, but if you get bored in retirement and you're not sure what to do, we have 24 hours to fill. So you can have Lloyd's Lounge or name it whatever you want and come back and, and do a show <laughs> for us. So uh, the offer's there. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Tanya, I will tell you, uh, it's been... Uh, a godsend to be able to come into this format and then push it out to so many people. And uh, that's what LaSalle uh, TV does for, for us. So it's great. We watch many of the programs, not just Freedom From <laughs> Fire, uh, but uh, it's just been a great opportunity and we couldn't do it without uh, your really reaching out to us, yeah. you know, and yeah. we've appreciated, we appreciated it, all yeah. the help that the fire department has, has given us, not only with Freedom from fire, uh, but appearing as guests on some of our o other programs. Um, we even had you guys do a game show on QA. I remember. On fire safety <laughs> information. I thought if any of these people get it wrong, uh, they're probably gonna be fired tomorrow. But uh, somebody, <laughs> in, somebody in the room that was on that show. I, <laughs> I think so. Um, so uh, again, we really appreciate having you here and uh, thank you and we wish you the best. Uh, okay. Thank you. Tanya, I wanna say thank you for coming on the sh uh, Freedom From Fire show. And at this time, I'd like to introduce a very, very special guest. And this is Miss Annette Ayers wife of Fire Commissioner Lloyd Ayers. Annette, welcome to Freedom From Fire. Hello, Ernie. And uh, I hope that you get the, or understand that you have this opportunity on Lloyd's uh, last Freedom From Fire show to sit here and give him your list of honeydews and everything else, and it'll be recorded for <laughs> posterity. Oh my, <laughs> I didn't bring my list. <laughs> But I know he was surprised to see me come in. Yes, very surprised. Yeah, because he came in and he was running and <laughs> I was in my jeans and kind of hanging around waiting for Relaxed. him to leave out. Talking to my daughter. Yes. And then um, finally he left and I was able to leave and come. But I just want to take this opportunity just to let him know how proud I am of him. And just to watch him... Um, move through the fire department and his compassion that he has for the people and the members of the fire department. And he has made me so proud to be his wife. And he has made our family so proud. Our children are proud of him. And um, not because he's my husband, but he's a good guy. You know, he's really a good guy. And I remember when I first met him, he was at the fire station, and I lived across the street from the fire station. And he actually came over, and he gave me a full resume on the first meeting. <laughs> he gave me his full name. He told me he was stationed over there, why he was there. And I said, well, who is this guy? I said, he's really a serious guy. So um, it's been really good. You know, he really has made me proud. You know, I have seen him come in late nights and tired and, you know, never, hardly ever complaining. You know, his, his favorite thing was stay the course or fire's under control. And that was it, no matter what, Annette, fire's under control. <laughs> and I'm like, Lloyd, the fire's not under control. <laughs> <laughs> but it all turned out well, you know, so I'm just proud of him. I really am. Commissioner, I hope you're not at a loss for words. I am. <laughs> no, actually, uh, uh, it's been a, a great run as far as with the fire department, but I couldn't do it without her support. Uh, she met me as a, uh, a firefighter at the task level, you know, doing different things, and uh, watched me uh, make lieutenant all the way up. So uh, she's put up with my study, and as I tell my promotees, I know that those family members out there put up with a lot so that we can uh, service the community, do a good job of what we do, and uh, stay safe. You know, um, 
sometimes the worry that was on her face when I came, man, you all right, I'm okay, you know, things you can't talk about. Um, and she put up with it for, for all of those years. So, you know, we, we're retiring. Yes. <laughs> Well, yes. Well, Annette, I want to thank you for coming on the show. I know it was a little bit of a stretch for you to uh, go through and, and manipulate the, his schedule with your yeah. schedule to get here. And uh, we're just glad to be, that you were able to be here to share this, uh, this uh, moment uh, with all of us, with all of his uh, fire department family, as well as the uh, Freedom From Fire uh, people, audience that's uh, watching this show, um, because this is truly a historic uh, a thing. Um, having a, a TV show here at, uh, at LaSalle University, and, and we hope that uh, it's benefited many, many people. And uh, we think that it will benefit many, many more people in the future. So at this time, I'm going to turn the show over to uh, the fire commissioner, and he's going to have some last words for us all. Well, uh, I'd like to say uh, first, thank you so much uh, to, to everyone that's... Uh, that's out there in the audience. Thank you for being safe, staying safe, uh, listening to the uh, clarion call from our firefighters and paramedics out there knocking on all of your doors. Uh, it's really uh, those folks at that task level that really get it done. Uh, at the commissioner's level, we uh, have a chance to do a lot, uh, say a lot, think a lot, but the task level is where it happens. So thank you for allowing me to have a lot of fun in this job. God bless.